published by Silverwood Books on the 15th of August, so a little preview for you today, I thought I'd do some poems uh, from my new book, The Exhibit. Um, the first is a poem for Payam. Uh, Payam Fieli is an Iranian poet, and um, he's also a gay man. Um, he is the victim of a brutal system. He was fired from his job, his translator's house was ransacked, and the censors have shunned him. Isolated in Iran, Fieli has dedicated himself to writing poetry, and he says he lives among his ideas, a citizen of his mind, and this is my poem for him. One language is never enough to express love. They pour sand into your mouth, censorship sour on our tongues. Imagine hot sand of Iran burning my feet, burning books, telling us lies or truth. Your planned execution noose tightens around all our necks. Our bipolar scars now publishers trademark. Persian night shrouds us in smoke. Bizarre smells seeps into secretly kissed skin. At night we bathe in our ideas. A new day will bring the sun's platform. Thank you. I'll do a little sci-fi poem as it seems to be a, a bit of a theme running through some of the things here today. Um, and this is Aliens Enjoy Earthly Delights. Aliens land, stay for the night. They seem to enjoy smoking a pipe. Booze makes them brilliant. They tell galactic tales. That one is painting her nails. Aliens eat sherbet from saucer sweets. Love all new humans they meet. I play the music. They sing and dance, we rave away to alien trance, an alien courts me for a gay romance. Alien child drives a cute tank, teenage alien discovers how to wank. Alien queen can't stop having sex, I meet a Martian who sends me many texts. Aliens enjoy earthly delights when they beam down to earth and party all night. Thank you. Planning for your death, anyone? Planning for your death. Radio adverts getting worse. Have you booked your hearse? Advance burial payments. Make a fun funeral plan. Reserve a coffin. Select your plot. Ashes, a change will, flowers, the last lot. Even your death is commercial, corporate run, sponsored by Satan. Supersize your last dying breath. Cut the cake, blow out the candles. A sculpture of sugar, slice of pure white virginity. In glaze frosting, my name is iced. A silver blade slices, cut the cake, sweet sections, napkin bed, taste of celebration. Candles melt with passing time, wax tears burnt, birthday party poppers push up. A light flickers, Years blown out, out, out. Away tears and wishes granted. Cut the cake, blow out the candles. Packing. This is about when you move house. Um, it's when I moved out of a place that I definitely wasn't happy living there and was glad to move. Packing. When we pack, our memories into suitcases, old photos into shoeboxes, CD not listened to since 1993. Bag up old clothes, forgotten holiday souvenirs, in possession of tears, stuff from all these years. Dusty DVD, worn out teddy, an empty chair, packing up my despair. Uh, this next poem was published at the Eastside Gallery in Berlin and was actually um, done as street art on the Berlin Wall, which was very impressive. So. Um, this is the wall. Sitting five feet tall between east and west, written in blood on the wall. Madness. Holes in my hands match cuts in the blocks. Watching guards count my steps, 
history, regrets, regrets, regrets. Decorate this wall so tall with barbed wire, torn clothes and flesh. Street art, graffiti, kiss, no man's land, death strip. Now boys play with water pistols to soak up summer, sun and freedom. Walls of the most dangerous kind are the ones we put up inside our mind. Um, and this is a recent one I did in Cambridge. I was asked to write a poem for Strawberry Fair. So this is the poem for Strawberry Fair. Everyone is so fruity, colourful characters, we won't be contained by jars, though some wear lids for hats. Sweet, sugary and delicious, we all jam together, and mixed berries of diverse delight, Strawberry Fair starts the summer. A parade of all people, poets and bands dripping treacle, afternoon balloons high, candy floss hair and face paint bright glare. Um, this next poem, Cambridge Pace, uh, was published in Cambridge News and also some of the university um, student newspapers seems to have been quite a popular one. And this is Cambridge Pace. Mark your arrival, bicycle bell, student crime, library fine, strolling on the common, punt stretch out like swans, rowing rivers of opportunity, education, celebration, Grade one listed buildings of sky-high college ceilings of philosophy thinking. Bridge of sighs never lies. Count. Every snowflake, every grain of sand, then understand in life everything matters. Bring me sunflowers. Wake up to sunrise. You put me in a vase. You're my water. Usually I'm poppy seeds, probably crumbs scattered for the birds. Bring me sunflowers in hospital to illuminate my plain room. A lover picks me sunflowers, we eat their seeds, count many petals. Painting sunflowers, my Van Gogh ear can't hear a bird free sky. Skull price tag for Alexander McQueen in praise of Damien Hirst. This poem was after a range of uh, high-end scarves that were selling something in the region of 700 pounds. Uh, they were launched by the couture line Alexander McQueen with artwork uh, by Damien Hirst. Butterflies inside my skull flutter like a lamp light dimming, perched open wing on my eye socket, folding color onto my bone white. A careful seamstress is cutting butterflies with scissors, stitches their wings into scarves. Imagine a fabric made of pure butterfly wing, draped over your hearst skull, sold as a high-end scarf, no diamonds this time. Price tag marks the mannequin, McQueen of fashion hangs up his scarf. Uh, me and James are of Pembroke and um, I was inspired by Sylvia Plath, who wrote a poem after um, a lady who was buried in a coffin at the um, Archaeology Museum. So I wanted to do my own poem um, after a Cambridge museum. And this is regarding Pembroke Planetarium, uh, which is a small exhibit in the Whipple Museum in Cambridge. So this is Pembroke Planetarium. Roger Long, the first lounders, put in Pembroke an 18-foot hollow sphere painted with galaxies Constellations for 30 people. Please enter at the South Pole, a miniature Jodrell Bank. Seeking undergraduate labour, six pound annual salary to care for a miniature universe, and you think the minimum wage is bad. In 1871, Big Bang, torn down for Master's Lodge, new buildings with glass ceilings. Now, 2014, a Pembroke poet lies back on college courtyard grass, counting stars. Um, I used to be a cinema projectionist, and quite often when I was up in projection, obviously it's all changed now, it's all digital, um, I would write poems in projection in between starting the films and the trailers. So this is one of the poems that came from um, the projection booth, and this is Cinema Screen. Cinema Screen looks down on me, blank filled with potential. Empty seats collect laughter, tears, and discarded realities. 
Posters as tall as skyscrapers invite you to escape. Screen is a chapel, descends into darkness, worship. Into the movies, we become our own stars. Just one or two more. Um, perhaps not that one. Let's have a look. School. Three shapes drawn on the school wall. Circle, triangle and square. But what if you don't fit? Uh, this, this next poem, Wax, has been recently published in the Best of Manchester Poets, Volume 3, and they chose it as the sort of front page poem, so I was very proud, as a Mancunian, to have my poem um, in the book. And this is Wax. I visit myself, my figure in the Wax Museum. How people see me, I begin to melt. I'm looking more like myself, mannequin undressed, Wax Museum mess. Barbie left by the fire. Collect me in buckets, melting as candles on birthday cakes. And the final two poems. Thank you, everyone, for your um, avid attention. Um, the second to last poem, Tarmac, uh, the British Museum in London, asked me to do a poem um, for Death, a Global Cultural Perspective, which was a very intense exhibit about funeral rituals and how death is celebrated or um, performs a ritual throughout the world, and this was the poem I contributed, and it's called Tarmac. I am cracked like glass. In my mouth I taste salt. My pain splinters me. Crowds bring plagues, swarms of the blind. We have desecrated graves to decorate museums. The silence of Speaker's Corner says it all. Nothing. We will all sleep. Beneath the storm of stars in the sky will turn to quiet. Fireworks. Even after the worst storm, I still feel fireworks bloom like new flowers in the sky. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening.